Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever whatever time of day it is for you. Uh, I'm making some split pea soup. Thought you might want to see how I make it. Here we go. So I don't know how the rest of you find recipes, but I just do a Google search and whichever picture makes sense or looks like I, what I want it to be, that's the one I pick. So found this one, it's by the Cozy Cook. Uh, Stephanie it seems to be very pink uh, this is what we're gonna go with so we'll jump down here to the recipe and I'll I'll put a link to this site in the description oh there's a recipe and split pea soup um, here are all the ingredients I'll put a list up as we make this and just wanted to note that she has three different options on here on the stovetop in an instapot and the option we're going to be using is the slow cooker. Okay, so these are all the things you're going to need uh, to make this. And I'll, as I go through here, I'll, I'll put the ingredients up on the screen. But you're going to need to go buy some green split peas, just a pound. Come in a bag like this, they're dry, easy. You'll need a ham bone. This is leftover from a meal we had not too long ago. They'd like you to have about two cups of meat on it, but that's... That's probably a little bit more than we need, but it's okay. Two cups of onions, so I've got some onions here that I'm going to cut up. Um, a tablespoon and a half of onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some butter, which I don't have here, but you probably have butter at your house. Two tablespoons of olive oil. A tablespoon of garlic. Two bay leaves. Two sprigs of thyme, and I have just uh, some fresh here you could use dry if you need to some water two cups of carrots and two cups of potatoes those are all the ingredients let's get them put in the pan
eight hours. This is what you get. That's pretty much fall off the bone there on the ham. And gotta get that bay leaf out of there, but it looks good enough to eat. We're probably gonna eat it. <laughs> anyway, that's split pea soup. Yeah.